Make.com and NA10. The likelihood is if you haven't swapped from Make.com to NA10, it's either because one, you're still learning and wanting to learn within Make.com, or two, you simply just can't be bothered to move your automations to NA10. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a automation I've made which takes your templates from Make.com and converts them into N8N workflows. So let's jump in. So firstly, you're gonna to want to export your blueprints. So this is an example of a scenario I've got here. You just go to more and export and it exports it straight away. So that's exported. We go to the blueprint here. Let's just rename it something. Um, what was it called? I don't know. Webhook personalization. Personalization. <laughs> cool. Click into it. It's come up over here. Copy into here, my little app that I created, <laughs> you know, I love my apps, um, convert that to NA10 and now I'll show you the scenario and I'll tell you how it works. So this will obviously get the blueprint from what I've just input. Here, we're using perplexity to do the initial transfer from make scenarios to the N8N workflow. So it's scraping the web, it's understanding what takes an N8N workflow, what makes an N8N workflow, and it's trying to convert it from the JSON blueprint to a JSON N8N workflow. The reason it can do this is because N8N is open source, meaning everything's out there on the web. It can search the web, it knows exactly how to change the make.com blueprint into an NA10 workflow. Then you wanna just keep checking. So I've done another perplexity mo module to double check and fix any syntax errors, any other errors, find, you know, if there's not like for likes in like, a, for example, a perplexity module, I don't think there is one in NA10. You'd have to do a HTTP request. So it should try and change the perplexity to a HTTP request. If it doesn't, it's a really simple fix anyway to just click into the node and create your HTTP request. Same with Deep DeepSeek, Google Drive, etc., etc. But the webhook, it should be able to change like for like. So it's just doing the second check. And then we'll use DeepSeek's R1 reasoning model. This takes a long time to just really triple check, make sure that it is correct, and then it will put it into a Google Drive ready for me to copy and paste into an NAN workflow. So let's give it a couple mins and I'll show you the end result and what it looks like in NA10, which is probably all you care about. I will also then go into the prompts and just let you guys understand what it is that has gone into this. Um, and let's just look at this app because I know you guys now because that video has done quite well. You should like your apps too. <laughs> so we've got the make.com to NA10 converter. It's just sexy, isn't it? it? Just makes the whole thing a lot nicer. Can't believe no one's ever done this before. I'm actually, I've actually revolutionized <laughs> the AI automations agency space. Remember, I was the first one to speak about this. Just saying. Right, we'll give this a minute and then I'll come back. Cool, so it's done. You'll go to here, download, Open it up. Copy, control all, control C. Go into here, go into here, copy. And there you have it. Obviously, like I said at the start, not exactly perfect. You'd probably just delete that, connect that to that. And you'd have to do a HTTP for the perplexity, HTTP for that, a pass, and an instantly module. But at least you've got it in there. You've actually already got, look, the HTTP in there. So you just have to obviously authorize it, authorize it yourself. Um, but you can sort of see what it does. What you need, what would be best for you is if you actually had a scenario where you wasn't using the integrated modules within make.com and you were just using http requests you could copy and paste that in no problem and it'll be so easy but because you know 
Make have a lot more integrations than N8 N do. It's a bit hard to do a like for like, but it still plans out the workflow like so. All you have to do is just change them for HTTP requests and you're sorted. There's no building it all from scratch. You can just copy and paste it in. In five minutes, less than that, all good to go. So I'll show you the prompts and, and how it works. So the we're using Sonar Pro, Sonar Pro, and the DeepSeek reasoning model. Also, I don't know if you guys have seen that actually between, I think it's like half four and half 10 UTC, it's like 75% off this. It literally costs the same as the DeepSeek chat um, model, which is incredible. So I've actually done this really cheap, other than perplexity. I don't know how much that costs for the Sonar Pro. But just to show you, so, you are an expert in workflow automation and platform conversion below is a mate.com automation blueprint. You need to consult the latest official documentation for mate.com and NA10, provide a JSON sample that accurately transforms this workflow into an equivalent NA10 workflow. For each mate.com module, map it to the closest NA10 node, adjusting data flow parameters and addressing unsupported features with suitable workarounds. If no direct match exists, exists propose a node combination or strategy that replicates the make.com functionality in NA10. Return only the final JSON sample with no additional explanation or comments. This one needs to review the output from the first one. Verify that each makes.com module is correctly paired with the corresponding NA10 node. Confirm that all data references and variable mappings, including node output, outputs, align correctly. Address any unsupported mate.com features by substituting or flagging them in a valid NA10 format. Eliminate or fix any potential property name conflicts and return only the refined JSON sample with no extra explanations. And last but not least, the DeepSeek model. You are an expert in JSON syntax and workflow automation. Below is an NA10 workflow JSON converted from a make.com blueprint. Your tasks. Detect any syntax or structural errors that could prevent successful execution in NA10. Present a corrected JSON sample if needed. Ensure all nodes, parameters, and data references data references conform to valid NA10 JSON. Provide only the final JSON with no additional comments or explanations. Do not respond with JSON or anything like that. Just respond with the JSON object, which then easily goes into the Google Drive, ready for us to download and copy and paste into NA10. Now I'm just going to briefly, now I'm showing you this, everyone can click off because I know you don't care after this. I'm going to show you the reason I actually built this. I have a client who is a email marketer. He has over 40 clients. He's still scaling. He wasn't actually able to scale much past that, but these 40 clients, he needs to scrape for not all 40 of them every day, but he's doing about three to four scrapes every single day of 10,000 plus people and putting them into separate campaigns, into separate workspaces for him to send out on behalf of his clients. Now, as you can imagine, running that sort of, you know, the, the email system, the cold email system, four times a day is costing quite a lot of money in make.com operations. So I'm swapping him from make to NA10. So we can self-host, it's going to cost him a fraction of the price. So what I'm going to do, I couldn't be bothered to build it, them all out. I'm going to show you actually all the, um, all the scenarios in just a second, but I couldn't be bothered to build them all out and you'll understand why in a moment in NA10. So I thought I'll just spend an hour creating this and put them all through the system to then upload and copy and paste into NA10 for him to finally do the transition and the migration to NA10. So here are the four scenarios. So he enters um, stuff into the app. We then I then store it because I need it later on. I know for a fact that NSN don't have a data store module, so obviously that's going to have to get changed to maybe an Airtable. In fact, when I did put this through the system, it actually changed the data store to an Airtable in NA10, which is incredible. Um, then it runs the task for Appify. Again, these are all integrated with Make.com. That's going to have to be a HTTP request. Then we're going to add a row. 
Next, now this scenario would actually look a little different in NA10, but essentially what it does, it waits for that actor to finish. So it's basically scraping the Apollo leads. We'll then get what was input into the data store, which is essentially the, um, well, it was all the stuff that you input into the app. We'll make an API call with Appify, so that just gets the item count. So then I could do a bit of maths if I just show you. Um, it'll get the repeater. So what this is doing is using a limit of 50 and using the offset from the set variable. So it'll do 50, then it'll come back, times it by, times the number by 50 and do the next 50. So I haven't explained that well. So essentially what it'll do is zero to 50, then it will repeat and do 51 to 100, 101 to 150, because I was hitting rate limits or he was hitting rate limits with the HTTP request. I think it's 60 a minute, but I'm doing a lot more than that. So I don't really understand what the, what the rate limit is, but it turns out I'm not hitting it now, which is good. So every 50, it'll go 50 into there, boom, 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 into the webhook, and then go down here and put it into a Google sheet. Then repeat, sleep for three seconds, 50, put the 50 in there. Um, so we can only actually do about 10,000 scrapes or 11,000, I think it is, which is fine with him. He doesn't normally do more than that. So this would look a bit different in N810 because obviously the workflows and the structure and the process of it is very different. Uh, well, different enough. Uh, so that would look different. So that's fine. But uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, this one then gets a bit more complicated. <laughs> you see, I wasn't going to build all this out in NA10. So it was easy just to copy and paste it in. It basically gets all the, the 50 at a time. Verifies it. If it's pending, if it doesn't verify it straight away, it will get sent to a webhook to do it again, which is here. Again, if you look at this. <laughs> um, it, uh, it isn't the most simplest of automations um, then it will research the prospect if he's put in an industry analysis it will go up here and it will um, compare the industry that perplexity gave and the one that apollo gave because if anyone's used apollo they'll know that the industry is sometimes very wrong so it will check against them both and if it is correct if it is the correct industry it will carry on to create the icebreaker and go into the right um the correct workspace with the correct campaign as well within that workspace. You can see he's got five workspaces. Um, so I couldn't be bothered to make this in NA10. So I'm just going to, I've created that automation where I'm going to put it through the app and it's going to spit out a blueprint for NA10 that I can upload nice and quickly and get my client migrated within a day to, or within a few hours, I should say, to NA10. So I hope this helped. Um, if you are thinking of moving from make to NA10 and the only reason is that you're not going to do it is because of all the automations that you're running on make, then 100% um, make the move. Use this automation, get it built and probably spend a, lo a lot less money. But I'd advise if you're a beginner, just stick with make.com because it's nice and easy. You've got all the integrations. You can see it. It looks nice whatever or if you're still learning maybe try learning instead of integrating modules do it via http requests so then you're learning more about how to actually set up api calls you're learning more about the json structure and then when it does come to moving to na10 you've got all http you can literally copy and paste that straight into na10 using my automation so i hope this helped if it does drop it a like let me know drop me a comment if you're going to use it uh subscribe because I want you to <laughs> and uh, cool I'll see you in the next one take care